Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this specific video is how to trust women again. We are talking about going back into dating, into relating with new women who might be coming into your life. And um, very often, after you break up, you might be in this zone where you go like, mm, women are all the same. They will all behave in the same way. This woman just broke up with me. If I go into a new relationship, this is going to happen again. And uh, this is called a cognitive distortion. It's an overgeneralization and labeling a whole gender with certain, you know, simplified models. Women are not all the same. Women are all different. What your ex did with you or to you, the way that she behaved during the relationship or during the breakup or after breakup, you know, all that is one human being. Stick to the facts. What happened? We got married. She met somebody else. She wants a divorce. Suppose that these are the facts. Who did that? It's not the female gender who did that. It's one woman, okay? It's one life situation that you have been exposed to. And so if you overgeneralize, what's going to happen is that you're going to create stories about your life and your possibilities which are not true. They're simply not true. When you overgeneralize, you're telling to yourself things that are not true. The truth is stick and go back to the facts. And the fact is, one woman and you, some things happen between two human beings. And so, what's very important when you go back into the dating game is to come to a new woman in your life with a fresh view, emotionally, energetically clear. You don't want to be sitting in front of this woman and be like, my ex did that to, to me, my ex is a woman, you are a woman, you are going to do that to me. No. Imagine how it feels if a woman comes to you and says, you guys are all the same. You know, my ex cheated on me, I'm sure you will cheat on me as well. You will betray me, you will leave me, you will abandon me, you will not care for me, or you will put your life first, you will be nasty with me, you will be aggressive, you will be abusive, you know, all these are projections. Look at you. Look at who you are. You're a nice person. You're a beautiful human being. Where do all these projections come from? So you don't want this in your field. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel nice when somebody meets you and they already have a whole story about who you are and what you're going to do. And so what I encourage you to do is check this self-talk. Check this inner game that you are into. What are you thinking about women? You know, here's the mindset. Women are beautiful. I love having women in my life. This is something that you can remember. You love having women in your life. If you go like, women are nasty, they are dangerous, they betray you, they lie. You know, if you tell that story to yourself, guess what's going to happen? Exactly what you're attracting. You get more of what you focus on. You get more of what, what you repeat to yourself. And so if you want to create a very clear, beautiful story for your future and go back into the dating world with a fresh perspective, with lots of new tools, new ideas, and lots of enthusiasm and a clear space, clear emotional space, you have to understand your self-talk around women. And the self-talk, if you want to attract a new lover, a new potential wife into your life, this self-talk needs to be positive. It needs to be a positive inspiration. It needs to be coming from a place where I love having women in my life. You see a woman, you go like, wow, it's exciting to see you. You don't go there charged. Yeah, you're a woman, I don't trust you. All women are the same, I don't trust you. I, I, know, I know what you're thinking. I know how you behave. I know what you will do to me. I know, I know all that. I've been with a woman before. You all women will do all the same. 
So you see the difference of self-talk. You look at this woman, you say, wow, you're beautiful. Look at you, you are flowing with your life. I love being in your presence. I love how you look, I love your smile. You know, you're fantastic. Let's get back together. Let's meet each other. You know, this is the, the idea behind that. It is that how to trust women again, it's very simple. I trust women. You repeat that. This is your mantra. This is your thought pattern that you want to embody and embed into your system. You don't want to come into you, to this field of dating with nastiness and charged emotion and digested stuff in your system, stacked traumas in your field. So one of the places where you can activate this positive relationship that you want to have with women is in your self-talk. You start there. You start listening to the conversation that you have with your friends. How do you relate to women in your life? How do you communicate with them? You want this space to be flowing and positive. This is a general idea. So it's not just trusting how to trust women again. It's how to love them, how to embrace them, how to nurture them, how to respect them, how to bond with them, how to connect how to love, how to create a beautiful sexual connection. You know, all these things are things that are within your range. We are not talking about rocket science. We're talking about consciously designing the relationship or the dating or the love space. What are the thought forms that you want to have in there? You can design all that super consciously. The choice is yours. I trust women. I love women. I want women in my life. These are the kind of thought forms that you want to anchor, embed in your field practice. I'll see you soon for another video.